Don't you guys hate this? I want to show you. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, what's going on here? Put this in here. Sometimes it works. What a fail. Past few times, it wouldn't work at all. You had to fiddle with it to get it to uh, there. It'll jam up. Just like that. So, what's going on is this key. See the ridges here, the teeth? They're almost non existent. Here is a new key. Get it here to you. See how big the, damn it, the teeth are? And these are worn down to almost nubs. So we're going to put this new. Uh, lock cylinder in it. All right. What we're going to do first now, if if you can't get your key to turn at all, you're more than likely going to have to get a slide hammer and yank that out of there because this uh, there's a little tab on top of here. A little tab. You have to turn the key in a certain position. Right there for that tab to come down and so you can push the tab in it's actually going to go like this I think it's going to be on the bottom yeah so you can push that push that tab up to slide the cylinder out same way with the push it in so that's why you're going to need the key for that now let me show you some things here guys whoops all right down under here Okay, you've got some screws. This has got to come off here. Where you at? Sorry. This has got to come off here. So you're going to have 10 millimeter screws. You're going to have one right above your emergency brake handle. This is a 2003-2004 Toyota Tacoma. Okay, you're going to have a 10 millimeter there. This is what they're going to look like. Okay, just a 10 millimeter bolt. So you're going to have one up here. One down here, you're gonna have one up in here, and you're gonna have one down here. Up here is gonna be a little Phillips, a little Phillips head screw. Why they did that, I don't know, but that's what that's gonna be. Now, I've already got these taken out to save a little on time. It's kind of boring, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this down and out. Whoops, sorry. Just like that, okay? Now be careful. This is your hood latch. You gotta be careful with that. Okay. Now up in here, I'm gonna have to take this screw out. Okay? And there's one right there as well. There's a screw back there and a screw there. Looks like I'm gonna have to take out. Uh, no, maybe not. There's the hole I think I'm looking for, right? If there's a little hole, you'll push something up in there and get this uh, tumbler to come out. So first, let's, sorry guys, uh, see if this will pop out. Yeah, see, that'll pop out of there. Okay, just like a dust boot. So I think all I'm going to have to do, guys, is push that in with a little small screwdriver or a pick or something. Uh, let's see. First, we've got to put the key in. And it worked. And you should be able to get up in that little tiny hole right there. Oh, yeah. Right there. You know what? Hang on a second. Something wrong with my lens. Okay, so. Let me get a little light on you here. Alright. 
There's a little hole. Where are at? Right there, see it? And you gotta push up on it. Now you're gonna have to turn that key to a certain place until you can feel that push up. Okay. Oh, I can't find you guys. Okay, there it is. Let me show you. See how far up in that goes? Well, maybe not. But. Okay, so I'm going to push that up in. And Nice to have a cameraman right about now. And I'm going to try to pull this out. And now, you'll feel it. See it coming out? And then pull your... And this thing should slide out. There you go. And that's what you end up with right there. Now check it, make sure it looks the same and it does whoops sorry guys now this one remember we already got it ready to get pushed and go back in so we should just be able to push this there's there's slots right in there see right there the slot for top slot for the bottom okay so you just line them slots up There you go. Alright, once you get them lined up, down here at the bottom, see that little that little tab right, that little dot there, you gotta push it up in with a screwdriver and push in on the ignition. I'm gonna try to do this one hand or there. Okay, see how it pushes up in? Right there. Now it's got to push up in. And then push your key in. Alright. Now, should be getting ready to go there. Yeah. Just give it a little wiggle. And see, you got a little bit up here on top. You may have to raise up. But let's set you down here. Stupid pins. Let me see if I can. And right, now I got a blood pressure cuff going up here. Just like that. Push it in until it locks in. There you go. an air conditioner belt I just put them on here oh, about a year ago but she was like you just put them on there last year and I'm like yeah I know but the belts have like what a hundred well over 120,000 on these belts so I'm like yeah <laughs> you can't go by how long something is it's how many miles and so there you go just like that I don't know with my left hand there and we're good to go. Everything works. Good. Good. And the steering never locked on this truck before. She's going to be happy about that. But now as you can see, it locks. Let's check the other key. Make sure it works. There you go. So, like I said, the steering never locked. She's going to be happy about that. Steering will never lock before. Now it does. 
So there you go. That's all there is to it. Now for this, to put this back up in there. I already showed you guys that. I mean, it's pretty boring, but you just get it up in there, just backwards. You know, like I always say, just reverse what you did. I don't know if you can see anything because maybe a little bit. Like I said, just be careful of your uh, your uh, hood hood latch cable, and it's up in here. Over here on this side, there's a couple little tabs. Little tabs right here, go in them holes. And that's all you got to do. Let's get you. I know you're a little crooked, but without a cameraman or lady, make sure everything's lined up just like that. And your little, of course, a little tab is there. kind of slide into place just like that once you get your screws in and everything will be held into place I'm gonna put them screws back in get this all lined back up the way it's supposed to be and you know, I'm gonna put my little deal back in there so anyway you get the idea and there you guys go uh, how you change a lock cylinder in a 2003 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, 2003, 2004, I forget exactly what years, but it's pretty sure it's all the way up to 2004 from 2000. I'm pretty sure about that. So, but if not, there's little variances, but it's all on the same basis. So, there you guys go. So, thanks for watching, and sorry about the movement of the camera, but it's kind of hard to do by yourself in a little tiny truck and get everything filmed. So, I'll try to uh, get most of that shaky and wobbleness out of it during editing, but you know, hopefully you'll get the idea. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Check out Monkey 1000's channel. And I'm Shea Bear. I'm Shea Bear 1000. <laughs> the myth, the man, the legend. Shea Bear, I'm gone for now, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.